The festive lights faded behind the flashes of emergency services as a day of Christmas shopping turned to tragedy. This bin lorry was on a routine journey through Glasgow city centre when it lost control, colliding with cars before ploughing onto a pavement packed with shoppers. It killed six people, injured ten others and scarred the lives of countless more, only stopping when it hit this hotel. The inquiry into how this could have happened began today with a minute's silence. In memory of 18-year-old Erin McQuaid, pictured here with her grandmother who died alongside her, and her grandfather Jack Sweeney. Young teacher Stephanie Tate, wedding planner Gillian Ewing, and mum of two Jacqueline Morton. Jacqueline McQuaid, who lost her 18-year-old daughter and parents in the tragedy, was in court with her husband, but along with other relatives, left the room as footage was shown of the terrifying moments that preceded the crash. But giving evidence, two of the men inside the lorry that day were forced to recall the harrowing moment it lost control. Passenger Matthew Telford said, we were in quite a joyful mood because it was Christmas. We were talking about Christmas and about football. It was just an ordinary day. Then he panicked, shouting, you're killing people, Harry, as driver Harry Clark slumped unconscious at the wheel. Neither man inside the lorry that day is facing criminal charges. The inquiry will examine whether anything could have prevented this tragedy that ripped six people from their families as they were preparing for Christmas together. Sally Lockwood, 5 News.